All right, number eight. The pitch of the roof on a building needs to be 2 over 9. Um, if the building is 22 feet wide, how long must the rafters be? So the pitch needs to be, so we need to use the pitch to find the angle. So that's what this is in this problem. So when they give us <clears throat> pitch, They're telling us this scenario, rise over one, two, and nine are here. We're going to use that to find the angle. We're going to use that angle to get the full, sorry, we can't see that. We're going to use this angle to figure out the length of the rafters. So we first got to find the angle. So the pitch is the rise to one ratio rise over one and so based on this angle we have opposite and adjacent so we want to use tangent tangent of theta equals two over nine opposite over adjacent and then we do inverse tangent so theta equals tan inverse so I kind of like taking it off moving over here and then of 2 over 9, and this is going to give us the angle that we need. We'll clear this. I'm going to say 2 divided by 9, and then we're going to do the tangent of that, inverse tangent. We get 12.52. Round to the nearest tenth, so just 12.5. So our angle is about 12.5 degrees. All right, now that we have our angle, okay, we're thinking about a building okay, as a roof, and we want to know how long this side is, these little rafters here. So we are told. that the building is 22 feet wide. So this is 22, this whole distance. So half of 22, because it's going to be halfway across, this is going to be 11. And we now know that this angle here is 12.5 degrees. All right. So we have a distance of 11. We're looking for this distance here. Uh, this is what they call the rafters, the, the boards that they put to make the ceiling. So. <coughs> This is our right triangle here. Based on this angle, we have adjacent side, and we need the hypotenuse. Adjacent hypotenuse, we need cosine. So cosine of 12.5 equals adjacent 11 over hypotenuse x. All right, so we're going to kind of just interchange these because we can't have our variable on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply by x and then divide by cosine, just kind of switch places. So we get that x equals 11 divided by cosine of 12.5. All right, and this is going to give us the length that we need. 11, let me clear this out first. 11 divided by 12.5, we're going to need the cosine of that, and we get 11.26, a little bit bigger than 11. Uh, we want to round to the nearest tenth, so we're going to say 11.3 feet, 11.3, that's is in feet. Our rafters need to be 11.3 feet wide. All right, number nine, from a hot air balloon, five kilometers high, a person looks east, sees a town with angle of depression 14, looks to the west, sees another town with an angle of depression of 85, 
how far apart are the two towns? Okay. So we have somebody in a hot air balloon. And this is my hot air balloon. Um, <clears throat> and this is five kilometers high. So I'm going to say five. AM here, and it's going to put two towns on opposite sides. So we're going to say town A and town B. <coughs> so the person looks east. So this is east, this direction. So I'm going to draw a horizontal out from here. So we've got to figure out angle of depression. The horizontal out, and the angle of depression is from the horizontal going downward. So this angle, this way, this is the angle. So still a right triangle, this is 5 kilometers, and this angle of depression is 14 degrees. And then he looks west, so from the horizontal out. Angle of depression from horizontal going down was 85. So it's almost a straight drop. I do that bad, but it's okay. 85. Based on this, we want to know how far apart are these two towns. So we're going to call this one distance x and this one distance y. So that's the same thing here. All right, so this angle we have adjacent and we have opposite. So opposite and adjacent, that's tangent. So tangent 85 equals opposite, which is 5, over adjacent, which is x. So we can figure out x from this equation. And then over here we have tangent opposite over adjacent again. Tangent of 14 this time. So 5 over y. So opposite adjacent. We're going to solve for y and we add those two up that will give us the distance between towns. So we're going to interchange these. So we have x going out of room here. x equals divided by 10 of 85. And then over here we'll have y equals 5 divided by 10 of 14. All right. So I need to find these two and add them. So I think we can get all of that in there at once so we can avoid rounding errors. I'm going to round at the end to the nearest tenth. Let's try this. I'm going to say 5 divided by 85, 10. All right. Plus, in parentheses, I'm going to say 5 <clears throat> divided by 14, 10. And then close and then compute. So about 20.5. 20.5. Let me add those together. I didn't get them separately, but x plus y is about 20.5.